This video is about telling SketchUp who's boss with AutoFold. Now, AutoFold's special feature of the Move tool that allows you to force SketchUp to move faces and other things in the direction you want to move them in. And um, it doesn't involve Bryce, so let's get rid of Bryce. What I'll do is uh, make a, I'm going to use the same example that I used in the book. Let's just extrude up a little box here with the push-pull tool. And then what I'm going to do is draw a rectangle on top of that box. Now, if I go up and get the Move tool right here, and I kind of click on this top rectangle and try and move it around, you'll see that its movement is restricted to the top of this box. It's basically restricted to a plane on top of this box. No matter what I do, I can't force it to move in the blue direction, even though what I want to do is make it move up, up or down in the blue direction. But it won't do that, and the reason it won't do that is SketchUp doesn't understand how it's supposed to fold this top surface in order for this rectangle to move up and down. And in this case, what, what I want to do is use the autofold command. So if I hover over here and you look at the bottom of the screen, the last little hint that SketchUp gives you says command equals autofold. What that means is command, now this is a Mac, so it's giving me the Mac command, but alt, so if I'm on a Windows machine, I want to use alt, alt equals autofold. So I'm going to hold down the alt key pretending them on a PC. I'm really holding down the command key. And I'm going to click to start moving. And as I do this, aha, what I was able to do is actually find that blue direction now because I'm holding down Alt and I'm auto folding. And since I can move it up in this blue direction, it actually let me fold that. And that's kind of as simple as it is. If you find that you're trying to move something and it's just not moving in the direction you want it to, what you're going to have to do is hold down the Alt key to tell SketchUp that you want to autofold, that it's okay to start bending those surfaces, this surface right here, and create some new edges uh, to, to sort of fold it so that you can move the thing that you're actually trying to move. All right, that's autofold, and that's the end of telling SketchUp who's boss with autofold for SketchUp for Dummies.